guys so today I'm gonna do something that's just a teensy tiny bit different and talk about an entire series rather than just one book and that series is the 100 series by Cass Morgan um, yes this is the book series that has been adapted into a TV show on the CW and I will talk about the similarities and differences between the two at the end but for now on to the books <music> The whole premise of this series is 100 kids who are basically juvenile delinquents um, get sent back to Earth after a nuclear winter has happened because they are basically the guinea pigs to see whether or not Earth is inhabitable for humans again. Um, so there's a lot of ethic issues there sending kids down to earth to, I don't know, test the waters and if they all die then too bad, you don't, you know, space isn't, space is still home. Um, but so that's the premise and while these kids are on earth they discover that they're not alone and that people have been living on earth since the nuclear war ended. Uh, so that's the premise of the story. So starting with the first book, The 100. This one, as it should, sets up the foundation for everything. You get an idea of who the characters are and are able to form attachments and opinions about different ones of them. Um, the, this book, like all of the others, are told through alternating chapters from the kids on Earth as well as people that are in space so you get a dual point of view of everything that's going on and you get to see all sides of the situation um, and I think that's really really cool because it makes your narration a lot more reliable because you are seeing um, the story from kids that were from the poor part of space kids that were from or space from their space station that they all lived on you get to see stories from you know the more privileged kids um, and it's just very very well rounded so the second book is called day 21 um this one i feel is kind of the meat of the series because there's action and there's a lot more mystery and suspense in this one um, both on earth and in space so um, the situation is a lot more dire up in space than you would think it is on earth so just starting with with what happens in space it's it gets a lot more tense up there and i really like being able to see everything that's going on up there and then on earth the big overriding conflict is what is going to happen as far as radiation poisoning is concerned because the 21st day um hence why it's called day 21 is big in the potential for radiation poisoning um so i'm not gonna tell you how that goes but um it's it's a big it's a big thing and i really like that you get to see the big thing that's happening on earth at the same time you're seeing the big thing that's happening in space and you can't see so i should make my diagram smaller here the last book is called homecoming um this last book i feel wraps things up pretty well for the most part it's got a lot of action in it too and I feel like the danger in this one is almost more dangerous than it is in the last one because it's coming from all sides and it's coming from a side that these kids thought was supposed to be protecting them and in reality putting them in more danger than before. I feel that is really really vague and I worded it way better on here. Um, what I wrote on my little notes here was that I feel like the danger in this one is a little more prominent because it's coming from two sources rather than just the one and like I said um, one of those two sources is what was supposed to be protecting these hundred kids or what they thought was supposed to be protecting them and in reality it's just putting them in a lot more danger so that's you know the three books my thoughts overall um, the series is a good read and it's an easy read. Um, you're not going to really struggle with following the story at all even though it is told in alternating chapters because she does give each character their own unique voice. 
However, that being said, the story is really, really fast paced and it's not as developed as it could be. I could do with a lot more development um, as far as the main characters. Um, I really, really wish there had been a chapter, at least one chapter or a point of view of the character Sasha, who is one of the people who was born on Earth. I really, really wish that I had chapters from her perspective because it would have been so interesting to see how she felt, um, you know, when there are these people from space, you know, just invading where she lives. Despite my wanting more backstories, there were, however, some very, very good hints dropped from the very beginning about one character in particular and what this character does. And so I thought the foreshadowing there was really, really good and I really liked it. In general though, I did like it and I just really wanted more development for everyone, especially the Earthborns. Still, it's a good book, very, very fast paced, but it's very easy read. Just don't expect to have some life changing um, story. It's just a very fun, very easy to read story. Um, very surface level, I feel. But that doesn't make it bad because I really liked it. So that's how I feel about the books. Read them, I recommend them. How does it compare to the TV show? Because I do watch the show and I really like the show. And the show is why I started to read the books. I'm not gonna lie, I watched the first season of the show before I ever picked up the first book. Well, the short answer to how does it compare, it doesn't. Um, it, it just doesn't. So the long answer is that it's a completely different story. You have the same very, very basic elements, but everything is handled completely differently. The show only has eight characters in common with the book. They are common really in name alone, except for Clark's character, Bellamy's and what you see of Octavia. Um, from what I can tell, she's very, very similar, um, I think. But again, it's a totally different story, so you don't have the same character development. Um, but their base personalities for those three are similar. But that's where the similarities end in the character. I was really disappointed in this because, like I said, I watched the show first. Um, and the reason I decided to read it was because I wanted to see how all of these amazing side characters that I really, really love in the show fit into the book and if they got more screen time versus page time and things like that. And then I was really disappointed because these characters didn't exist in the books. And then there are so many amazing characters that exist in the books who aren't in the show and they could have been. I mean, it's just, it's a completely different story. The only way that I can think of to describe it is the TV show is an AU fanfiction that got put to screen. Basically, you can watch the show all the way through and nothing in the book will be ruined for you, and, or vice versa, you could read the whole series and watch the show and you're not going to be getting any information ahead of time because they're just not nothing alike. Yeah, it's really disappointing, I think. I was disappointed after I finished the books, not because I didn't like the books, but, and not because I don't like the show, because I still like the show. It's just very, very different, and you have to look at them as two completely separate beings because the 100 books are not the show at all. So really, I just feel like they could have adapted this better. I wish they would have adapted this better because I would love to see this story on screen. Um, again, for the millionth time, I like both. Um, so the book and the TV show, while they have the same name and some of the same characters, they're not the same thing. And you really can't judge one based off the other. Always, everything will be in the description, my social media links, links to the author, everything like that. So um, like, comment, subscribe, or don't, whatever, it's up to you. Um, I hope you guys are having an awesome summer so far, and I will see you later. Okay, bye! I just realized that these are both TV show covers and this one's not.